Okay, I'm going to admit to you right now that I'm a little bit annoyed because I had to make this video like five times and none of the times it worked and... Eh. Hey, you know that I'm here. That's why, you know, right at me. Um, and it was picture day at school and I didn't wear a hat because we're not allowed to wear hats when the picture and my friends all discovered that I have permanent hat hair. Yeah. This m week week, I was going to say month, was, uh, pasta month, is pasta month, because the week's not over yet, because I'm still talking, um, I, uh, obviously, I'm being weird right now, because I have a baseball game I have to get to, and I'm kind of in a hurry, and I have to make this video, like, a million times, anyway, I can't cook pasta, and I'm not artsy, or anything like that, so I can't do cool things, like, I can't show you my favorite dish of pasta, because, can't cook anything but microwaved hot dogs, and I'm not artsy, so I can't do the whole, you know, bracelet necklace thing that Liz was doing on Monday. So instead, I went on the internet, and I searched up some interesting pasta facts. So here's the first. The Chinese are on record as having eaten pasta as early as 5000 BC. Christopher Columbus was born in October which happened to be National Pasta Month. I don't know why they were talking about Christopher Columbus, but that's on the thing. Uh, Thomas Jefferson is credited with introducing macaroni to the United States. It seems he fell in love with that certain dish in uh, France when he was serving as the U.S. ambassador. He promptly ordered crates of macaroni along with some pasta machine and sent it back to the States. The first pasta factory was opened in Brooklyn, New York in 1848 by a French man named Antoine Zerga. Zerga managed the entire operation with just one horse in the basement to power the machinery. To dry his spaghetti, he placed it on top of his roof so the sun can dry it. During the 1960s, macaroni, which was traditionally like a blue collar, down home meal, was transformed into a more upscaled pasta. As more and more people begin to have fun with it and start to romanticize it throughout the 60s and 70s, its image began to change along with its name. Pasta is one of America's most favorite foods. In 2000, 1.3 million pounds of pasta were sold in American grocery stores. If you lined up 1.3 million pounds of 16-ounce spaghetti packages, it could circle the Earth's equator nine times. That's a lot of pasta. Yeah, and I would say more, and I had more to say, but then videos failed, so I don't know what you say now. And <laughs> So, I guess the only thing I can say is that, Liz, I will be seeing you on Monday. <laughs>